Hello, my name is Sajjo. I'm back with some more OverGG coverage of MLG Vegas. And this time I'm with Rise Nation's Desro. And uh, you haven't played any games yet, just to set the scene of where we are. This is the, the day before the event actually kicks off. How are you feeling in general about this event? Um, I'm feeling really excited. You know, this is our second chance at our first LAN. And, uh, you know, it, it's, we might not necessarily have a lot of pressure coming in from other people's expectations, but we know that, uh, you know, we're coming in here with a lot to prove. And it's really exciting to finally be able to do that on offline. Yeah, offline. Mm -hmm. So you've been a team that have kind of risen up through the ranks and gained a lot of respect in the North American scene. But the North American scene's got quite a lot of depth to it, really. It's got like 10 fairly decent teams that on their day can uh, do well in a tournament. Right. So what has your journey been like coming up through the ranks? How long have you guys been together? What's the journey been like in terms of like ups and downs? When do you get your big break? That kind of stuff. Right. So as, as a team, I'm, I'm the only, I used to play on what's right now complexity, Code 7 back in beta. I was actually the only person on our team that played in beta at all. So when the game came out, it, me and Faz, we decided, you know, we, we've been friends for a while. We wanted to put together a team. So everyone that we've gotten for this team has been been people that have played from release and we've just you know it was a while it was a good few months of just trying people out you know just getting it finding a team that all works together and then everything basically came together right before e-league we did those qualifiers i think i think we only did the last qualifier with our current roster so right before e-league that was when we got picked up by rise and you know we made our first upset when we beat Complexity in the uh, in the first round, we didn't make it to E League. Sadly, we lost two one to Method. But um, you know that was our that was our first big break, I think, and that's that's what like you know got us on the map in general. The other big one that people will remember because it's the the only thing that you've actually like won up to this point is the qualifier for MSI MGA where you beat Cloud9 and then you went on to beat Liquid. I think you'd already beaten Tempo Storm yeah. or something like that. Was that it? Right. Okay. And there were some other upsets that happened in like the lower side of the bracket that made the, the path for you, but you ended up actually coming out with some decent wins over other good teams. Was that like a peak in your performance? Is that just a general upwards trajectory? How does that fit into things? I think as far as that meta, that was our peak because that was the meta of the Nano, Nano Boosted Reaper, the Beyblade meta, where people were running that and uh, Hanzo and Zarya, they were just looking for big wombo combos. We, you know, we had played it a lot. It wasn't really our strength, so what we did, we we went back to like trying to counter it. That's been generally our play style is we don't necessarily like to play the meta. We like to figure out what we can do to beat teams who are playing the meta. So we uh, we ran Zen that entire qualifier. We didn't play Ana once back when Ana was like you know 100% pick rate. So that I think that was not only a good win because you know we won the thing, but we also won it doing us. We we didn't try and follow another team we just did what we were strong at and uh yeah i think i think that that was like a really really good moment for us because it it more than just winning it it like put confidence in us that like we we as our team can do this you know it's not just we're playing what's strong so that coming into msi we were basically planning to do the same stuff we were running our zen our genji you know stuff that when everyone's running triple tank soldier and uh, you know we might we might try and do the same thing this tournament. Try and play our own game. So that's a really interesting concept that you've raised—the idea of like playing to your own strengths rather than following what's happening in the meta and doing that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You said that that's like your general concept of the team coming into it. So what are some of the strengths that you try and play to? You talked about the Zen a lot. I like Locks mm -hmm. Zen. It seems really good. You talked about the Genji as well. What what are some of the strengths of Rise Nation? Right, I think some, our biggest, some of our biggest strengths here are obviously Lock on Zen. He's a really, really good player on Zen. You know, just like from on any of our really good games, he's usually been on Zen and done really well. Obviously, Spirit is uh, well known in the NA scene as a really good Genji, and that obviously pairs well with the Zen. Retsy, we can put Retsy on any DPS, and he'll just play fantastic. He's just an all-around star player. And you know we can just put him on any DPS in any meta, and it, and it'll work. And uh, I think that like that that strength that three can like we can play that as our strength into whatever, and then the rest of us we 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 can flex into whatever we need to facilitate that. 
at whether that's the Zarya or the Diva or usually Ryan or the Monkey if we're diving or something like that. But I think that, that that's where our core strength comes from, our 2 DPS and log. In terms of the challenges that you've had to overcome in, o in order to improve as a team, so like things that uh, you had to work on in order to get to this point, or things that you still have to work on in order to get even further, what are some things that you would highlight that you're currently in that situation about? Right, so maybe not current situation, but for a while, it was a, lo it was a lot of, you had to work your way up the ranks, basically. Like, top teams aren't gonna wanna scrim a team that's n never done anything. So it became, you know, scrimming team, you know, bottom level teams, working our way up, proving ourselves over and over. It's, it's, it was all about, you know, proving ourselves to the next person. So that was like probably the biggest, biggest hurdle, just like making people realize, you know, we can, we're actually good, we can actually beat these guys. And uh, yeah, I think that like, just, just proving ourselves to the people, that was our climb, basically, and that was our biggest struggle. Coming into this event, you have, uh, you got a, quite a tricky group, mm -hmm. to say the least, and you've had a, a bit of an interesting situation at MSI MGA, as everybody had who was involved in that event. Yeah. So what's it been like coming in, in terms of your practice, your mentality, that kind of stuff to MLG Vegas? Mm -hmm. The practice hasn't been, it obviously hasn't been what, we've li what we would like, because we had that five day, we scrimmed up until we left for London, and that was uh, five days of, you know, not really getting to play Overwatch, playing one game on stage. So we had that five day, not break, but you know, mm. hiatus. And then when we came back, we had the NGE qualifier. So that was, you know, a tournament every day from when we, from when we got back to London until we left for Vegas. So the, pra the practice hasn't been exactly ideal, but I think the tournaments, we got to play against Complexity and Fnatic. We, we lost 2-0 to Complexity and we lost to Fnatic 2-1. Even though there are losses, I think that just, getting to know what they do, their tendencies in the current meta is, is really, really huge. Because honestly, I feel like one of our strengths as a team also is that we, we are a bit more analytical when it comes to individual matchups. I feel like part of, the, part of the times that teams, you know, don't exactly expect what we're doing is because they don't take the time to look into what we're doing. And I think that having that, those few matches against them is really valuable coming into our group. So knowing exactly what, not exactly, but having a general idea of what two, two people in our group are doing makes, a group, makes the group a lot closer than people might expect. What do you expect the group to look like? How, what do you think your chances are of making it through to the playoff stage or making a big upset happen? What are your opinions on that? I think, I think it's, a, like I said, a, a group that can go uh, places that people wouldn't expect. I know versus Fnatic, um, again, we played them two days ago in the tournament. We lost 2-1. It was a very, very close series. And that type of close game, you know, it puts us in a good headspace, knowing that, like, if sli things slightly went, you know, a little bit better, we could beat them. And I think translating from offline to online, that, you know, that can work in our favor. And complexity, complexity has a very unique style, that, and that's something that, we can uh, abuse a little bit, I feel. And then Envy, Envy hasn't, isn't, they haven't come in the most practice. They, you know, time is not, unfortunately not gonna be here until two hours before his match. And you know, they, ha I think they're definitely, definitely the, a really good team and a favorite to win the tournament. But I do think that they have their, you know, own vulnerabilities like any team. Okay, something that you just uh, lit up in my head there was, the fact that you said that you, you were like online and land and the fact that you were like analytical about how you've been playing. Mm -hmm. Have you been taking the game more seriously since you started doing better or since you started uh, thinking about practicing for MGA as a LAN? Or is this just uh, the same concept that you've always been applying? I think, um, I think we've, we've definitely stepped it up since these off offline tournaments. Like we, we knew exactly what, how we wanted the, our London matches to go. Like we had a specific game plan for NIP and unfortunately we, we kind of got to show it and I feel like, like proof of concept, it worked very well despite you know the lag and whatever. But I think that because of our homework and because of our theory crafting that like we, we had a very good shot in that series. And so I think 
that translating into this tournament, you know, will will probably surprise some people. Okay, cool. I hope you do. Good All luck right. for your games. Thank you.